So let's just settle into our uh, nice, comfortable uh, seated position, feet flat on the floor if that's the way you're sitting. And I just realized that my mic's not plugged in, so this might sound a bit better. Okay, there we go. Probably sounds better. <clears throat> so if some of you are sitting in a cross-legged position on a, your cushion, uh, the important thing is to make sure you're sitting right on top of your sits bones, your shoulders are aligned with the hips. And just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light stretching from the base all the way up to through the crown of the head and beyond. Just really lengthen your spine. And as we've been doing in our mindfulness meditation course, just allow some softness to come into the body. So just release the tension of the crown of the head. And you may not have realized that you even had any tension in the crown of the head, but just imagine releasing the scalp and see what happens. And then relax the face. On the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the mouth. And now move to the back of the head and relax the back of the head. The ears, the temples, the jaw, back of the neck. And allow your shoulders and shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat, the chest, the belly. And all your limbs. And just notice any softness. Can you allow it in? And maybe you have areas of the tension. Maybe not just in the body, but also in the mind. And just for a moment, can you just allow them without worrying? Be aware if there are any sounds in your environment. Just allow those sounds to be there. Trying not to follow with the mind. And just notice what it is that's arising in the mind this morning. <clears throat> Perhaps you have a different theme this morning than you did last night in our meditation. And maybe it's worthwhile to remember, oh, this must mean my mind is impermanent. My pain is impermanent. It changes all the time. So again, find some thoughts there. Notice the thoughts. Be objective about them. Try not to criticize or judge or have opinions about what's in your own mind. And all these things we're thinking in our mind, we also might be completely convinced that we're right. But you might want to question that also. Some of the things in our mind are complete stories. not based in fact. So perhaps just bundle up all those things that are really not serving you very well. <clears throat> I've been using a helium balloon as an analogy the last couple of days, but you, you can just put those thoughts, could put them in an airplane or a rocket or just on a nice white fluffy cloud.
can bring to mind all the people of our life <clears throat> as those thoughts just to float away. And the ones you really love. We also have ones that we have kind of complicated relationships with. Then there's those ones we don't like that much. Then there's our strangers, and these relationships can change place at any time. Perhaps it's happened to you in your life. Maybe your relationships changed when you moved. Maybe there are some relationships that you have that don't change regardless of where you are. Remember all these people, they're the same, they're equal and they wish to be happy. They wish to be free from suffering and having this extraordinary capacity for Buddhahood. So then we'll do this meditation this morning for the benefit of all these people of our life and by extension all sentient beings and then think of people in your own mind and we can always think of him who I know would really be here if she could so imagine Tara in space in front of you she has this radiant green light body. It is very beautiful, and she's sitting on a multicolored lotus. Her left foot is drawn in, and her right foot is uh, resting on its own little multicolored lotus. The left foot drawn in indicates her complete and effortless control over her desire energy. And her right foot out indicates her willingness and capacity to get up and act for sentient beings. And often she's referred to as the wish-fulfilling Buddha. She represents this quick capacity, here represented as female, to cut through obstacles, to get things done and to be successful, and of course to make us all blissful. So imagine Tara is youthful, she's very beautiful and radiant, full of energy, full of bliss, and she's wearing coloured silken garments and jewellery, on her ears, ankles, arms, and neck. You can also imagine that she's the manifestation of the mind of your teacher. And he's appearing, or she, appearing as Green Tara for your benefit. To the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until I'm enlightened. By this practice of meditating on Guru Tara, may I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So here, just imagine we're receiving all these blessings and we start with a, each each one of the chakras, we start with a little purification, then a, a, a wee blessing. So imagine Tara spent sending powerful, blissful white light from the Om at her brow chakra and this enters your brow and completely fills you. And just imagine that all the problems and sufferings and heaviness of the body are purified by this light and all the harm that you've ever done to any living being with this body and all infinite past bodies is also purified and it's eradicated completely, not one atom left as we recite the mantra. Om um, Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha Om 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 Tare Tu tare tu re so om tare 
to tare to re so om tare to tare to re so Now imagine the light coming again. <clears throat> this time you can visualize your body has become a blissful light body, just like Tara's. Indestructible, just like it will be when you attain the deity's body, the Sambhavakaya. Imagine it's not possible to ever harm others with this body, only to benefit. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 Now imagine Tara sends light from the R at her throat chakra to your throat, and this purifies all the problems of your speech. So any inappropriate speech or, you know, just useless speech, gossiping, uncontrolled speech, when you're angry or any criticism. And, you know, sometimes we have this inability to express ourselves the way we feel that we need to to get our message across. Sometimes we can't express ourselves skillfully. We don't get the outcome we need. So imagine all the harm you've ever done to any living being with the speech of this life. 
and in from the past lives, also totally purified, just eradicated by the blissful red light, not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare. Tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Now imagine the light comes again and you're totally full of all the blissful, perfect, compassionate wisdom, appropriate speech of Lama Tara, such that whatever sound you utter is necessarily beneficial to any living being who hears it. All of this is your potential and really feel full of this powerful speech energy. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. Om tare. Tutare to re so Om Tare Tutare to re so Om Tare Tutare to re so Om Tare Tutare to re so Now the mind. Imagine that Lama Tara sends powerful beams of blue light, blue like the sky, from the blue home at her heart chakra, and this enters your heart. And imagine that all the unhappiness of mind, any confusion or arrogance or anger or jealousy, pride, resentment, hurt, anxiety, self-hate. All of this is completely purified. And then all your root delusions in, uh, and ego grasping 
all your regular delusions, all of this totally eradicated, all these things harm others so much, harm yourself. So it's eradicated by this powerful blue light, not one atom left. As we recite again. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 I imagine the blue light comes again and you're full of the blissful, omniscient, compassionate mind of Lamatara. Really imagine this, really want this. It is your potential. Om tare tu tare tu re soha Om tare Tu tare tu re soha. 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 Now imagine the three lights coming again from Lamatara's three chakras simultaneously. The white om at her brow, the red a at her throat, and the blue hum at her heart. And this simultaneously penetrates your three places. And this time feel that even the subtlest stains of all delusion are completely eradicated. There's not one atom left and feel very, very blissful. As we recite the mantra again. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 Om tare 
tutare ture soham. Om tare tutare ture soham. And stay in this blissful state, concentrating on being one with the energy of Mother Tara. And now imagine Tara's lotus dissolving upwards into her body. And the little lotus at her foot dissolving up into her leg, into her body. And she comes to sit above the crown of your head, facing the same way as you, a couple of inches above the crown. And out of her wish to become one with your mind, also remember this is your teacher there, she dissolves into green light and melts into you through your crown and merges with your body and your speech and your mind. And we'll recite the mantra one more time. Om tare tu tare tu re Om tare tu tare tu re so 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 And as we meditate for another couple of minutes, think I am one with Lama Tara's holy body, holy speech and holy mind and feel blissful. So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy you've created in this practice this morning to all those people of our life and by extension all sentient beings and for yourselves as you move along your spiritual path. Okay, everybody. Wonderful. Thank you so very much. Thanks for all your concentration and your attention and lots of love and have a wonderful day and I will see some of you this evening. Okay, thank you.